It takes too much to be a bad bitch. And you know, I don't know if I want to be a bad bitch no more. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika if you are new and if you're joining us for the first time, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you can be notified every time I post and make sure you leave a comment down below. So in today's video, it's gonna be another maintenance vlog. This is the second time I've done a maintenance vlog and I really enjoy doing them. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me while I get my nails done, my hair done, my toes done, and everything else that I need done for this monthly maintenance for my monthly maintenance routine. So if you want to see everything and come with me to all my appointments, just keep on watching. Hi child, y'all saw the intro. Now I'm about to get ready to go to the nail shop. That's first things first is the nail shop. I'm going to get my toes done today. I go to two different nail shops. One to get my toes done, one to get my um, nails done. So I'm about to put this little wig on. If you been on my channel, then you already know what this wig is and where she from and all of that. So make sure you check out my hair review if you haven't seen it already. I'm just throwing her on any type of way, child. I ain't trying to really... She ain't about to be seen unless somebody finna snatch my scarf off my head. I'm about to put this scarf on. And yeah, I got a super... I have a huge freaking bug like trapped in between my screen door and my balcony door and i want to open my balcony door so i can get some fresh air but i can't because the bug is in between and it's really upsetting me and my home girls y'all upset right because i am so i decided to glue the wig down y'all i don't know why i was even wasting my time trying to put that scarf on because it just didn't make any sense this is pretty much a glueless wig. I did it so quick. Literally, 10 minutes is all it took. So I love me for that. Oh, I love that for me. Cause the hair, I be wanting to be presentable, presentable when I run my errands these days. Like I want to try to really start taking my time with my appearance. And hair is like one of the most important things. I can always throw an outfit, but I be wanting my hair to look a certain type of way, so. Whew. This maintenance vlog, y'all. Let me tell y'all everything we got to get done in this maintenance vlog. We got to get my toes done, which I'm about to go get that done right now. My nails done. Oh, this girl about to walk across this grass. Now, how is she walking across this grass and flats? And it's been raining all day today to the point where I was just about to put my rain boots on. So, that tells y'all how wet, it's outside, wet it is outside. And instead of walking on the pavement <laughs> to get into the apartment this girl just walked up in this wet old grass with them flats on child i can never let me mind my business so we got to get toes done we on the way to do that right now we have to get nails done my appointment to get my nails done it's tomorrow morning um i have to install my wig which i've installed this wig before but i kind of want to do it again i want to do it again it's a red wig and i kind of want to go red temporarily and i want to practice my layering i want to cut some layers in the wig so this wig is just perfect for that and i think it's going to turn out so cute because this is going to be my third time installing this wig so i think i prefer installing used wigs over new wigs because i just feel like when you're installing a new wig you don't really have like an outline you have to just do it fresh so if you have a used wig that you've worn before that has like a really good outline it makes your job that much easier so because this wig has a good outline it's hd lace and I'm better at installing wigs than I was when I reinstalled it for the second time. I know I'm about to secure this install. I hope I don't regret saying that. We're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to play the clip back if I mess it up. But we're gonna reinstall the wig. And oh, what else we gotta do? We gotta go to Target because I need some feminine products and I need some eyelashes. But I might end up having to go to the beauty supply store to get the lashes I really, really want. But we'll see. I'm gonna still see what Target got. And um, what else I gotta do? 
Oh, I'm going to do some teeth whitening with y'all. I've been doing my teeth whitening. That's something that's been going on, just a part of my everyday life. But um, I still want to show y'all because I do plan to incorporate it on, as part of my maintenance routine moving forward. Y'all know I just got my braces off. So even though I'm going to be done, this will be my second round of teeth whitening that I went through. And I can definitely see the results. So I really like it. So moving forward, even though I'm not, once I'm done with this box, I'm going to take like a two month break or something like i probably won't try to wear the notes any teeth whitening strips until it's close to my birthday i'll probably do it again then you know when it's close to like a holiday christmas or i got somewhere real big or important to be i'll always kind of do some teeth whitening prior to um and then i think that's all we got to do for this maintenance vlog hmm oh, i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup with y'all of course i gotta do a little bit of makeup because sunday is mother's day and i'm gonna be going out so yeah your girl gonna be getting cute real quick so i'm gonna end the vlog looking fine if i didn't already start it with an intro of me looking fine um and i think that's all we gotta do i feel like i just talked y'all ears off um yeah that's all we gotta do so i'll see y'all at the nail shop All right, child. So I just left the nail shop. I hate I don't have my freaking light. Remember my light that Korean got me? Oh, I just bit myself on my lip, my inner lip. I don't have my freaking light, but that's okay. I met this super sweet lady in the nail shop, and it was just so wonderful and refreshing to talk to her, y'all. It was just so nice. She was so cool. And so I'm about to head to Target. I am so mad I don't got my light because I want to talk to y'all a little bit while we are in the car. But that's okay. Um, I'm gonna have that child in Target. Piece the story together. No, no, this is what really is tight because she's she trying to act like I don't know. I've been thinking, like, damn, like, me being a relationship type of girl, is, is that the right way to be? Because it's like, what's up, y'all? So I'm back home and I want to show y'all. First things first, we're gonna get into these toes, child, because I didn't show y'all no before, and that was on purpose because my toes were jacked up, child. Oh, I really don't. They okay now? So let me know. Do y'all tip people if y'all are not completely like in love with your service? Like honestly, do y'all tip somebody if your service could have been better? Cause I still do, just out of. I don't want to feel guilty for not doing not doing that when you have done me a service, whether I'm super in love with it or not. But I'm at a point now where I feel like I'm, I'm about to stop doing that. I'm about to stop tipping if I'm not obsessed with the service. Like, if I don't really like the service, what am I tipping you for? Like, please let me know. Guys, please let me know. Do y'all tip if y'all are not in love with the service? But this is what the toes are giving. And I'm not in love with them. Like, they look okay. I don't know if it's because it's my first time back to white polish. That's making me, like, kind of skeptical. I guess this going to come off when I get in the shower. Because I have been getting French for a while. But I'm back to white. I don't know if that's why I don't like them or I just don't like them. I don't like the way she shaped them. And I wasn't paying attention how I should have been. Because I was talking to that sweet old lady. She was just so sweet. I really love talking to her. But I should have been on them because uh, I'm not really satisfied. And I feel like she did not get all my ingrown toenails. I have ingrowns. Y'all be having ingrowns? Because I do. And I need them to get all of that. Because I'm going to be in here getting them myself in a week or two. Child, I shouldn't have tipped her. I tipped her $20. I got to shave my toes too. Do y'all shave y'all toes? Because I do. But, uh, yeah, child. Let me know about that tipping situation because if I could take my money back, I would. It just be, I just don't want to be that person, so I don't. But let me show y'all what I got from Target. So I got a new flower. 
And I'm going to try to use it tomorrow while I do my, when I do my install or whenever I do my install. I'm going to try to use it. This is a one and one fourth inch. So it's bigger. I was so happy I found this one because they had a one inch, but I didn't want a one inch. I have a one inch. I don't need a one inch. I need a one and one fourth inch. And the old one I had broke. So this is perfect. Perfecto. It's so pretty. It's rose gold. Um, it's by Conair. I actually have this, and it was on sale, y'all, for $16.99. It was the last one there, too, so I had to get it. I have the same brand, the flat iron, and I love this flat iron. This is the one inch. I want to get the one and a half inch if I can catch it on sale or catch it anytime. It don't even got to be on sale. That's why I get I'm going to scoop her up, but it has the little twist thing for the heat settings. I feel like all Conair curlers do that, and then... Yes, this is going to be so cute. Mm -hmm. I want to curl some. I want to curl some. So I got that. Um, then I got me some more cotton rounds because I need some more. I literally used my last one today. I should have just got the, the one with 300 in there, but I don't know. I just keep getting the one with 100. I got me a loofah because I want to use it while I'm in the shower just to scrub my body. I just want to scrub. You know, um, some feminine products. My boyfriend needed two pairs. And then I got this facial cleanser. I needed a new facial cleanser. If you watch my regular vlogs, I've been talking about how I'm almost out, out of the one I have. So I decided to get this La Roche Posay purifying foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin dermatologist tested safe for sensitive skin effectively cleans and removes excess oil it's a prebiotic thermal water soap free sulfate free fragrance free sermicide three and ni niacinamide. it has nice niacinamide Niac niacinamide i don't know how to pronounce it but i hear that that is a really good ingredient for your face so yeah i want to try this cleanser yeah, and I have the La Roche Posay um, vitamin C serum, so I want to try to keep all my products in the same family. I hate that the um, this was only fifteen dollars. I think it was it was it's normally twenty. It was on sale. I like it. Well, I can't say I like it. I think I'm going to like it, but I hate that it's such a big amount of product because if I don't like it, like I'm stuck with all this product. Oh yeah, no fragrance. So we'll see. We'll see. So that's all I got, you guys. Um, so tomorrow we got the toes done. Went to Target and spent unnecessary money. Check. Um, what else do I have to do? So we just have to do the wig. I had glued my wig down. I think I told y'all that earlier. We just have to do the wig. Nail appointment tomorrow and everything else. Y'all see the list on the screen. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning, and I'm about to go get these nails done, child. I haven't had these nails on for way too long. I wanted to show y'all my outfit. I look a little cute. I figured since I'm doing a maintenance vlog, I should wear the sweater that I wore in my last one. Why did I think that? It makes no sense. I don't know. I just wanted to because I haven't worn this sweater since then. I love this sweater. It's so pink and girly. Oh, and then I've been carrying my pink bag anyway, so it'd be kind of hard to pair outfits with the pink bag. So it'd be like, you got to do all black, you know, one color or something like that, or how you would pop a pink in there somewhere. So instead of trying to put on all black today, I just decided to put this on, this pink sweater to make it easy. Oh, child, it's going to take me so long to get to the nail shop, y'all. We got to go. Let's hit it, girls. Let's hit it, ladies. We is running late. The drug dealers is outside. <laughs> no, but for real, it's uh 60. My car say it's 69, but I know it's not 69 degrees. It's 60-something degrees today in the Chicagoland area. And, yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to get beautiful because that's what I'm about to do. So that's what you better do when you seeing this because it's going to be y'all. Our weather going to be so nice. We about to get 80 degree weather for like seven days straight starting on Monday. 
And I'm so here for it, child. I am so here for it. Hopefully, it could be this beautiful outside tomorrow. Well, not this beautiful, because I know it's going to be beautiful outside tomorrow, because it's going to be warmer tomorrow than it is today. I just hope that it's as sunny, because you say that it's not going to be that sunny tomorrow. I'm going for a simple nail design. I don't want nothing too spectacular this time around, because I've been doing, like, the design type of nails for, like, my last couple of sets, and I'm kind of just over it. I'm going to just... Well, yeah, my last two sets were a design, and I'm kind of over it. I want to just do something simple. I'm trying to tap into something simple, child, because these designs, baby, they too much. And I want some short nails. I want to go back short. I want regular length of nails. I don't want nothing that's super-duper long. I want something that's short, simple. But it's still giving, ooh, girl, where did you get your nails done? They are so cute. So, we about to see. It's saying I'm not going to get that to 11.43. Ooh, that, that's really bad because my appointment is at 11.30 and it's downtown Chicago. So, you got to find parking. And because it's so nice out today, let me roll this up for one second. Because it's so nice today, it's going to be so hard to find parking downtown Chicago and it's Mother's Day weekend it's going to be extremely hard to find parking so I really hope that my nail tech give me some type of grace period but I'm going to try to hit it a little bit to get there a little bit faster and then y'all I didn't even tell y'all which I guess it ain't really a big thing to tell y'all but I'm doing all of this and I lost my freaking debit card I had went to the ATM a couple days ago and I think I left my debit card like you know how like you put your car in the machine? I don't normally put my car in the machine. I normally just um, do the tap, but the tap wasn't working. So when I went to put it in the machine to the pop, I was, I was putting money in there. When I went to put it in the machine to deposit the money, I normally do like a text message receipt when I'm done. And I never got my text message receipt. So that kind of makes me believe that I left the... Um, car in the thing i never pulled it back out because i'm not used to having to do that so i think that's what i end up doing so i ordered a new one or whatever but that's my main card that i use for mostly everything so yeah it's kind of messed up because um it's kind of messed up because i don't be remembering that i don't have the car until it's time for me to pay for something then i'm sitting there scrambling looking crazy trying to take money out of this account and transfer it to this account because that was my main account so but i got cash today i got more than enough cash i should have more than enough cash to get my nails done so i should be gucci i'm gonna holla at y'all when we get in the nail shop i'm gonna switch i'm gonna switch to my um cell phone in case the party is Chicago land area, you know what Lower Wacker is, baby. Oh, I'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can see. It's like we're underground and the street is on top. But when you get under here, you could easily get stuck under here and not be able to get back on top because it's not as simple as you would think. So I really hate being under here. I can't wait to get from under here. But I don't, I hopefully my GPS knows what it's doing. Cause it's like the GPS isn't, what you call that? The GPS don't be knowing. The GPS don't be knowing that you under here. Sometimes the GPS be thinking that you on top, but you'll be on the bottom. The three hour nail appointments, I'm gonna, I can't, I can't do, I can't do the three hour nail appointments anymore, you guys. I just can't do that. My appointment was at 11.30. I got here late, so I won't lie. I didn't get here till 
It's still, we still under here, y'all. Look at this shit. Can be very scary. It can be very scary, but I think it's coming to an end now. But my appointment was at 11.30. Granted, I didn't get there until 11.45. It's three o'clock and I'm just now leaving. Why? Me and my homegirls wanna know why. Okay, yeah, I did get a soak off. But Jesus, like y'all, soak off or not, my nail tech, it always take him this long to do my nails. It's because he's so detailed and meticulous. You know, that's what I'm assuming that's why, because he is very detailed and meticulous. He really takes his time. He really likes to treat your natural nails, do your cuticles and, you know, trim your cuticles and make sure he get the nail that could be, you know, hanging underneath. Like he gets everything, everything, he gets everything. So I understand, but three hours, three, three hours. I gotta start, um, I gotta put my Netflix account on my phone because I'm gonna have to start watching me a show while I'm in there to keep me from going crazy. I already got the patience of a child. I have the patience of a toddler. And you want me to sit here for three hours and just get my nails done? Like my nose was itching, my ass was itching. Y'all know my allergies been messing up. So my nose and ass is itching, I can't scratch my nose and ass i can't touch myself i just gotta sit here child i don't know about this <laughs> when i was telling y'all i met the sweetest lady in the nail shop yesterday she was telling me like we go through so much she was just talking to me she was like we go through so much we do so much like and i'm just like girl you know what i'm saying we do but now I was kind of like, yeah, we do, but you know, I guess I'm, I guess I'm used to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to it. I guess I'm used to doing all that we do to be beautiful. But it's getting to the point now, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting to the, and this is so fitting, right? Because we're talking about, I'm filming. This is the maintenance vlog, and so this is all about what I do and how I. I'm trying to get y'all set up straight. I'm driving in Chicago right now, y'all. So it's different. You have to like really pay attention. And my camera don't have a mount, which I really would love to get. But we, I'm filming my maintenance vlog, but I think my maintenance routine is gonna start changing over the next couple of years for real, y'all. It takes too much to be a bad bitch. And you know, I don't know if I wanna be a bad bitch no more. I don't know if I want to be a bad bitch. Like, can I just be like a regular pretty girl? Because it really ain't about the looks anyway at this point. Like, I'm not trying to... I know I look good and I know how to look good. But I think I'm getting to the point where I'm, I'm starting to feel like I could do without all the acrylic nails and the wigs. And I just want to just live a more minimalistic maintenance lifestyle i don't want to live so high, high maintenance i don't want to live so high maintenance it's a lot it's a lot to be high maintenance getting your nails your wig or wax or you know it's it's just a lot being high maintenance is a lot it's a lot and it's it's most of the time you have to go through so much pain and uncomfortability just to live a high maintenance lifestyle and i'm tired of it baby the next vlog probably gonna be my low maintenance vlog because i'm i don't, I don't know i'm kind of just like ugh the nails, the hair, the feet, the toes, you gotta go here, you gotta go there, you gotta go there, you gotta go there, you gotta go there, you gotta go there. It's just like, oh my God. The lady, I asked her one last time, she had her nails done, cause it was her natural nails. She just had her natural nails and they were so pretty and healthy. And I was like, when last time you had your nails done? Cause she said she stopped doing it years ago. I said, when last time you got your nails done? She said, my wedding day 10 years ago. I said, oh child, you locked him down and you said, baby, that's it. Take me as I am, <laughs> or oh, have no <laughs> thing at all. She ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. Like that's how I'm feeling. I got my man. 
I got my man. I right, listen. Maybe you know. I think I'm, I'm gonna still get my nails done. Of course, I'm just joking. But I'm, I gotta find like a simpler way to do things. So I was looking at Gel X. My nail tech does Gel X, um, and a lot of people who come in the shop get Gel X. And I think I'm gonna start getting Gel X. I meant to ask him before I left out, but I was in a rush because I didn't want my car to get a ticket because my parking had expired. But I meant to ask him when I was leaving out, like, what would have been? So my nails were eighty dollars. A full set, the soak off, everything included. This whole thing was eighty dollars. I wanted to ask him what would have been the price had I got gel X, got everything the same, but it was gel X instead. I wanted to ask him like what would that would have cost so I could see what the price difference is, because I don't think it's that big of a price difference. Because what what's making me interested in it, because I want to do more low maintenance things, is the women who I had two women who came and got their nails done after me both of them had to get their nails soaked off so we all went through the same process getting their nails soaked off and everything but the difference was they got gel x so both of them were gone before me like one of them was gone like 10 15 minutes before me and another one was done like an hour before me and she came in like 30 minutes after me and she got a french as well she got a french as well but she got um she got a French as well, but she got gel X. The other lady didn't get a French at all. She just got polished, but she came in like an hour after I happened there. But I'm just saying that it's so much quick, quicker. Like the gel X process is like, I think it saved you like an hour. So instead of him taking three hours to do my nails, it'll probably take two hours to do my nails or something. So I don't know. I'm gonna look into gel X um, moving forward. And then I wanted to book appointment for more Memorial Day because me and babe are going out of town for Memorial Day. And you know, I just wants to get my appointments lined up, but he don't even got no appointments for Memorial Day. He said he booked for the whole month of May. So so I think what I'm gonna end up having to do is get in a filling on this set and then when I go to him sometime in June I'll probably try the gel X. So I don't know bro, but it's hard being a bad bitch. Okay? I'm gonna be a regular bitch. A regular bitch will do me fine, cause I know I'm bad. A regular one. Alright y'all, your girl is back at the crib. Oh let me show y'all the nails real quick. Real simple, like I said, I didn't do nothing spectacular. Just the French. I'll put some pictures across the, across the screen. Um, nothing spectacular. It feels so good. Quez is gone. He went to go run some errands. So I think I'm gonna just sit in my thinking chair. This is my thinking chair. <laughs> I think I'm just about to sit in the chair and um, bring my charger out here and put on me a robe and just do some editing. So yeah, and then tomorrow we're gonna get into the hair, sweetie. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna do some teeth whitening tonight. I gotta be where I gotta be tomorrow at two o'clock. So gotta be up pretty early. Yeah, I am so tired. That three hour nail appointment and then having to be in the hour traffic there, hour traffic back. It just beat me down to the ground, honey. It beat me down to the ground. I don't have no energy to film and do my makeup and all that. So, I just want to tap in and show y'all the nails. They are so cute. They just classic. I think it's taken a little bit of getting used to because um, I've been getting so many designs. Now that I'm getting something so simple and short as well, it's kind of like, dang, this is a big transition. And my man, he said he didn't really like them like that. But he wanted, he said he liked my last set a lot. So, he used to seeing me with the designs on all of that but baby we going simple and plain these days and it's only gonna get more simple from here so he better get used to it because i'm gonna be like that lady after my wedding day <laughs> after my wedding day that's it baby i'm done with all this fake shit but um all right y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit later all right y'all so i'm about to do my teeth right now i just got done eating dinner this is my what my this is my last pack of teeth I imaged. This is my last pack of strips and I got I'm I'm almost done. I got um I got after this day, after I do today, I got seven more days. So I am so excited to be done with this because this was a 20 day treatment and baby. But it's the results have been there. It's been hard for me to be consistent. 
because I had already did a, another set that was like, how many days was this? That was only four days. So it's like a 24 day treatment that I just did and it was very hard to be consistent. I am not consistent. But I have a whole video out on the whole process cause I vlogged it from start to finish. So when I'm done with my last seven days, I'm gonna be uploading a video on my before and after results and just my overall thoughts on the process as a whole. So make sure that you stay tuned, turn on that bell for them push notifications <laughs> so you can um, be notified when I upload that video. So I'm gonna just show y'all what I do. This is the express treatment that I'm doing right now, right? <laughs> no, I'm not doing the express treatment. I'm doing the professional effects treatment right now. I did the express treatment first. With the express treatment, you had to keep the whiteness on for an hour. Okay, you really wanna make sure it gets stuck so it don't be slipping but um with this treatment i only have to wear it for 30 minutes hallelujah so i gotta go see what time it is i'll be right back i should have showed y'all what it looked like before what my teeth looked like before as in before i put the whitening strips on but yeah y'all see it's getting foamy already but i'll be back in 30. all right guys so i'm back it's been 30 minutes and it's time to take these suckers out are you so ready to rinse my mouth out when i take those out so i'm gonna go do that and then i'll be right back so that's what she giving that's what she giving when them teeth whiteners come out, sis. She giving a dirty mouth. Oh, uh, who, who, what commercial was that? The dirty mouth commercials? Orbit. <laughs> Clean it up with Orbit. But um, this is the wig for tomorrow. I just wanted to show y'all real quick. I have clips of me straightening the hair and um like prepping it to be installed on my head this is what i meant when i said the whole outline thing like i like for my wig to already have been worn before because it's already plugged so i don't need to plug it all i had to do was literally clean my lace it's already cut so it's just going to be a super easy install i love that for me the color is super pretty i love it i'm going to be wearing green tomorrow i'm not sure 100 percent what i'm going to be wearing but i know it's going to be green so i was thinking maybe i can do something cute with this hair and wear some hair accessories i have this pink headband that i really like and i think it'll be a real cute contrast to the red hair like she's pretty and girly all right y'all let's get into this wig install i should probably um use some alcohol or something on my forehead but i'm not and I'm not really going to talk through this either because I just literally just uploaded a tutorial. Um, when I uploaded that curly hair review, I showed you guys how I installed my wig. This one will be a little bit more complex because it's a frontal wig, but I'm running this half bit late, darling. And I don't have time to explain the whole process. But if you would like, just leave a comment down below. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. And I shall make the time to make that video. That right there, it's gonna have to do. You trying to be quick. I try with you. It's more than life of sleeping in and getting high with you. I had to let go of us to show myself what I could do. And that just didn't sit right with you. Now you're trying to make me feel the way on purpose. Now you're throwing it back in my face on purpose. Now you're talking. 
broken down on my name On purpose And you don't feel no way You think I deserve it I try with you It's more than life sleeping in and getting high with you I had to let go of us to show myself what I could do But that just didn't sit right child but she lifting in a couple places so I'm gonna try to fix it up a little bit lay it down right here brush these excess hairs back I'm gonna spray a little bit more glue child and we're gonna tie that up band down and keep it moving because we supposed to be here for a good time a long time Take this off now. So in about 10 minutes. We looking good, child. We looking real, real good. So now I'ma just try to I, I did want um baby hairs with this, but I don't know if I have the time for all that. It took a lot of hardship just to learn how not to break down and stop, babe. No matter what I've seen in the past, I won't get an impact. I'll be grown now, baby. We can't let it slip away. I drift away. Can't go to waste. Go to waste, huh? I say it's strange. Stay to your face. Won't contemplate. You got to play that, babe. I don't want to wait another minute for you. I know you got me falling from the ceiling for you. You went from the south. There was no limit to you. And I'm catching feelings, baby. I'm gonna spray a little bit of my iron cold setting spray on the hair before I actually run the curling line through it because I feel like sometimes my hair it be too silky and it just the curl just don't last as long as I would like it to so I feel like putting the hairspray on the hair before I um 
do it before I curl it and then putting more hairspray on after is what helps the curl last. And then for the beach waves, when you curl your hair, you just want to leave a little bit of the ends like straight so that it can actually fall into a wave. I've done this technique on my channel before, so nothing new. I'm actually not going to spray anything because these are kind of, it's kind of a little crunchy. I'm going to just spray my whole head when I'm done with it. And the reason I love doing these beach waves, especially when I'm in the rush, is because they don't require like a whole lot of energy and effort. They don't have to be perfect. And this is a brand new curling wand. This is from um Target, I got it on sale for $16. It's by Conair. It is a one and one fourth inch. This is my first time using it, so. Man, I hate that my eyes just, my eyes can't help but to water. They still watering, y'all. 2.30, baby, won't you meet me by the beach? Too early, maybe later you could show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit Windy City She blowing me kisses No, no, no This is not what I was going for, child But I ain't, I can't do a thing about it at this point I see you at this show tonight Alright guys, so this is the final look. My eye keeps watering, so I'm gonna have to take my Charlotte Tilbury powder and my beauty blender just to touch. I'm sorry about all the noise. I got my balcony open. Just to touch up my face a little bit while I'm out. But before I show y'all my outfit, I'm gonna show y'all my fragrances that I'll be wearing, which is Chanel Chance mixed with YSL Libre. I mean not Libre, YSL Mom Paris. Love Chanel Chance. I'm almost out of this. I probably got one more good chance to wear it. And then that's it for me. So I need to go get another one. I love this one. This was the purple one. And I feel like it's my signature scent. So I'll be trying to hold on to it. But it's just time for me to get a new one. And then I'm going to do the um, Mine Paris. This one is empty as well. But I have another one. So I'm not really stressing this one. And then on to the outfit. Show you guys really, really quickly. So, for my outfit, I have on this Wolford bodysuit. This Wolford bodysuit. These pants from Zara. They just flare out at the bottom. And then I have on my Steve Madden heels. Ooh, can y'all see? Y'all can y'all can't see the whole fit, but I might throw it on if it's too chilly. But my plan is to just like drape it or something. You know? I don't really wanna like wear it for real, for real. To drape it or something. So so that's all for the video guys i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave me a comment down below don't forget to subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye